Hey guys, in this video I'm going to do a file viewer plus review for you just to kind of give you a better idea of what it is and how it works and if it is something for you. Uh, the first thing you'd want to do, and this is what I can do, you can see from the top of my screen, it says that I have a trial of 14 days left. So there is a link directly under this video in the description box. If you click on it, it's going to take you to their main page where you can download a full 15-day um, free trial version of File Viewer Plus 3. Now this is a full version of it that you will get complete access to for two weeks and then it'll give you plenty of time to decide if it's something that you want to buy or not. If it is something you want to buy, I'm going to put another link under this video in the description box where you can get 40% off of it. I don't know how long that will last, but it's there if you guys do decide to buy it. So here's the tool, File Viewer Plus. And when you open it up, this is what you're going to see. You're going to have two options here. You're going to either open a file or convert files. So if you're having problems of trying to open a file, this is obviously what you're going to click. Now you can also drop and drag files directly into File Viewer Plus 3 and it will open them up. Now it does support over 300 different file types. So the majority of the types of files that you're going to be using or that you have access to, you will be able to view with File Viewer Plus. So just to give you an example of what this tool does, it does a lot more than just view the files. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and you're going to see that I have a Excel spreadsheet here. And I'm just going to take it and drag it onto the File Viewer Plus uh, main screen here. And it opens it up. And it opens it up the same way that I would see it with an Excel, but it does more. I can also edit anything here just as I would if I opened it up in Excel. And there's options up here at the top of the screen that allows me to also make further edits to it. Uh, very similar to what you would see in Microsoft Excel or another spreadsheet, spreadsheet type tool. So you got your document, you got your insert, page layouts, formulas, data, review, and view. And you can make all these changes in here and save it. And then when you're done, you can come over and you can close the file, you can convert it. Um, or you can just come over here and you can save it, save as, print, print preview, or just some of the properties. Now every time you do open up a different type of file type to view or uh, the ones that allow you to edit it, it will create a new tab up here so they will remain open until you either close the software or you close each individual tab. So what we can do, we can go back to the start again and we can open up another file or we can choose to decide to convert a file this time for example if we choose convert files it will actually allow us to batch convert files if we want to do that and what we want to do here is if we want to uh, convert a file type we're just going to click in this box and choose what type of file it is that we want to convert from PDF files to text and you can see the list of them here and once we have that chosen, we go to step two and we choose what type of file we want to convert it to. And then we can choose the quality of it. We can rotate if they need to be rotated. If you have images that were taken maybe uh, with a phone uh, that was a different angle and you want them switched, uh, you can do that here. You can also resize them based on percentage, absolute or fixed. And um, once you get that done, you can uh, include subfolders, you can add files or folders instead if you'd rather do that to choose uh, the actual types of files that you want to convert. Select where you want to output and save them and just click convert and it's going to go through and do that for you. So this is a, a really nice addition uh, to this file viewer plus tool. It's much more than just a file view viewer. Um, going back to the start menu just to give you one more example, we can take uh, this image here I have of mountains and I can bring it over and drag it onto File Viewer Plus and you're going to see it does open up the image. This is a large image. You can see in the lower left hand corner it's 6000 by 4000. It's a JPEG image. But I can also make some edits to this from within the File Viewer Plus 3 tool. Up here we have where we can click on the edit button and we can choose to resize it to make adjustments to the coloring there are some quick effects that we can click on to make those changes and then there's also effects that allows us to uh, do all kinds of additional um, settings to it for presets of blurring, edging, embossing and then we got here some other things you can do if you're more advanced with editing and you want to more fine tune it. 
So all these are included within File Viewer Plus. It is an amazing tool, and like I said, you can get a full two-week free trial of it by visiting the link there on your screen or directly under this video. Hope you guys found this File Viewer Plus 3 review helpful. If you did, please like my video, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment below if you have any questions, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks.